Hello, it's me, Nancy. Today, you are stuck to my steering wheel, so I hope you don't mind, you know, going back and forth a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to have, I'm going to take yoga. I'm going to be part of a yoga group for 10 weeks. Isn't that cool? So today I'm supposed to have already been there at this um, preparing, you know, the intake, whatever. Anyway, so I'm, um, I'm going to go there now and I'm late and she phoned and I'm so glad I didn't, I'm so glad I went and sat in my chair because I had just been for a walk with Willem and he gave me a ride back to the house because he was going to go to town to get the car fixed. His car has got a problem. And um, 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 um. I just glanced at myself and saw my face and thought, oh my gosh, I look so fat. Anyway, it's just the way it's happening. So, um, so he had to, so he dropped me off at the house and I went up and I sat in my chair because I wasn't quite sure what I was doing. I had a few minutes to wait before my weaving group at Mira. And so, um, and they phoned. I had forgotten. I guess I turned down my sound. I wonder if my, just in case you ever want to know, if you push your sound button when you're making a video, it'll turn off. So there, that's what just happened to me. There's been very few deer out here on the road. Very few. I've seen two in the last couple weeks. Now we do a lot of driving, but I, I'm surprised that we haven't seen more. I'm very grateful that I haven't hit them. I always pray that there'll be no deer on my way. There's a few of you that are very sick or that have big problems, and I, I pray for you. I hope you feel better. I pray you feel better. Heavenly Father, help them feel better. Help things get better for people. This life is all about trial. And opposition. Because when we have opposition, we develop character, don't you know? When life is going along very lovely and pleasantly, no, no effort is required. But when there's problems and trouble and our bodies are falling apart, then we have to really work at being nice or being happy or being helpful or not thinking about ourselves all the time or just coping. It's good to remember that now and then because it's easy to forget. When you're in a bad way, it's hard to remember that there's anything else. Anyway, that was just an aside. So I'm driving quickly to get to this. I would be driving faster, but there's a car in front of me and I don't pass. Not unless it's a real important not on a curvy road. Not me. Wouldn't me find me passing. You know what I want to put on the back of my car? Per leader of the parade. Parade car. What should I say? How should I say it so that it's like everybody behind me is in the parade and I'm the first car? Like because I'm the slow driver or the one that's in the way and everybody wants to pass. I usually am not that much in the way. I try and get out of the way. I even pull over and let people pass. But if I put something on the back, it would be funny, wouldn't it? Like parade car. Lead parade car. First vehicle. Leader of the parade. Parade car number one. Or... Thanks for being in my parade. Thanks for joining the parade. Your car too. Oh, that would be good. <laughs> Don't want to be in the parade? Well, pass. All right, now I gotta turn lots of corners, so I'm gonna go so you don't have to just go get sick. Goodbye. Hello, it's me, Nancy, today. Well, I was, uh, I went to my yoga thing and it's just the beginning to see what's up. And so I did this little questionnaire. It was interesting um, to find out if I was depressed or if I had anxiety. And I was
was quite surprised to see that I do have quite a bit of anxiety and some depression. And I don't really know that. Anyway, um, best not to think about it. Best not to dwell on it. But um, I guess things go on in your life that are just difficult, right? Sometimes they pile up. Sometimes, as a mother, you know you're involved with the lives of your children, and of course now we're in the sandwich generation, which is aging parents and um, and aging children or whatever. And so you worry about your parents if you have them, and you worry about your children if you have them. And I usually don't worry too much. I usually just enjoy everything. But I notice that there are concerns with people in my life. You know, my mother and her situation and the caregivers and just the whole family in general and how it affects everybody and the things that we need to do about it. And I find that really shuts me down. I didn't realize it shuts me down. I guess it's, it's easy to go through your life not realizing what you're experiencing, right? I mean, sometimes it's obvious if you're depressed. But it makes such a difference when the sun comes out. Oh my gosh. It's amazing how the sun makes everything look really pretty. You know, like the rocks look beautiful, the weeds look beautiful, you see the browns in the woods and how pretty it all is. And we've been having so much rain that the grass is all greening up. It's like spring. It's quite like spring right now because it's for this week it's been, um, it's warm. Very unusual. It's supposed to be 10 today. 10 is 55. I mean, that's very warm outside. Anyway, I guess I'll just leave you with that. I don't have much to say. I'm on my way to Mira. I'm going to go to our weaving group. I bring my knitting so I can knit while we're, while I'm, while we're listening to instruction. Excuse me. Alright.